which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasha means in the name. Yahweh is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barachah means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Matati from Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And um, you can see here on your screen is the definition for the word muse. You know, and um, you know, a young brother from the camp, he 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 shared this the other day, you know, so sparked my spirit, man, just to go into it. So here you see it says muse. It says to be absorbed in thought, right? Now the uh the similar or the synonyms, it says to ponder, consider, think over or think about, mull over, reflect on, to contemplate, deliberate. Turn over in one's mind, chew over, and that and that was a key. <laughs> that was key, you know, uh, definition right there. It says to chew over. Here it says ruminate. Now, when you look up what ruminate is, it says think deeply about something right it says of 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 a ruminant chew the cud goats ruminated nonchalantly around them right so it's chew the cud now according to the scriptures the lord calls us right the sheep of his pasture This is a uh, Psalm 79 and 13. It says, so we, thy people and sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. Psalms 95 and uh, 7. For he is our power and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice. Uh, uh, hit this one too. Uh, Psalms 103. Know ye that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, he is the most high. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Right? So going back into this definition, here it says to ruminate, but that was one of the uh, the uh, the synonyms for muse. It says to evaluate, examine, study, review, think. Right? So here it is, muse or meditate or ponder, consider. These are all things that it says what say to oneself in a thoughtful manner, gaze thoughtfully at. Now, it speaks about how our eye should be single, man. In the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter it says uh, uh, looking unto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith. So so we're looking unto our Lord Yahweh Shah, right? We're gazing thoughtfully at our Lord Yahweh Shah and we see him through the scriptures. We see we see him through the book because here. You know, I typed in meditation here. It's eight results, you know, within um, the Old Testament, the New Testament, and uh, the Apocrypha. And I also typed in uh, meditate over here in this app. And it popped up 18 verses. But the first precept I want to go to, because one of those definitions was ponder. First precept I want to go to. This is the Book of Wisdom of Solomon 8. And... I start at 16. It says, after I'm coming to my house, I will repose myself with her, her being the wisdom, for her conversation hath no bitterness, and to live with her hath no sorrow, but mirth and joy. Now, when I considered, when I mused, <laughs> right, when I meditated, when I considered these things in myself and pondered them in my heart, how that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality and great pleasure it is to have her friendship. And then the works of her hands are infinite riches. And then the exercise of conference with her. And in these words that, that, that the scriptures are using, man, these are powerful words. It says, and in the exercise of conference in Sirach, the 51st chapter, I believe it's the last two verses. It goes into uh, blessed are they who are exercised in these things. The things he was speaking about was what was in the points of wisdom, man. 
exercised in these things and we become exercised within these things by going over these things continually just like how a sheep chews the grass it swallows it down it regurgitates it back up and it chews it again and swallows it down again that's the meaning of chew the cud going back into the lawful animals that the lord said that we uh, 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 that we could eat well that's what we do with this knowledge <laughs> right we eat right because it speaks about uh, uh eating a whole roll in Jeremiah the 15th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, Jeremiah says that, uh, 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 Lord, I, I, I found thy words and I did eat them. And thy word was the rejoicing of my heart, roughly paraphrasing the precept, man. Yahweh Shah said to what? To eat his flesh and drink his blood. And he wasn't talking about physically. He was talking about this knowledge because the blood is representative of the wine, which is representative of this knowledge. His flesh is representative of the bread, which is representative of this knowledge. You see? So when we eat, we digest and we go over things continually, man. That's studying to show ourselves approved. That's why it says in Hebrews 5 that when you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which is the first principles of the oracles of the Heavenly Father. So we constantly go over these things, and that's us what? Musing, pondering, or chewing over the knowledge that the Lord has granted or gifted unto us, man. It says, in great pleasure it is to have her friendship, and in the works of her hands are infinite riches, and in the exercise of conference with her prudence, and in talking with her a good report, I went about seeking how to take her to me. And as you continue to read down, I says, uh, I read through. It says, for I was a witty child and had a good spirit. Yea, rather being good, I came into a body undefiled. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except the Most High gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. I prayed unto the Lord and besought him and with my whole heart. I said, and it goes into the ninth chapter of him making that prayer, you know, of wisdom. Of being guided through the spirit. Right. But it says he went about seeking how to take her to me and understanding that this is only given from the heavens. So we have to ask you how about Shem Yahweh for this and, and seek it. And how do we seek it? By giving heed. Uh, 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 what does it say? In, um, matter of fact, I get it in this app. This is the book of uh, 1 Timothy 4. And 13, it says, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift, <laughs> whose gift she is, right? The gift of faith, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the land on of the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. You see? Key thing about meditation, man. And now let's hit these a uh, couple precepts. This is... um. Psalms 19 and 14, that's King David praying. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, my strength and my redeemer. So in order for our thoughts, our meditation to be acceptable in the Lord's sight, then we got to meditate upon these precepts, upon these words. This is Psalms 49 and 3. My mouth shall speak of wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. Psalms 119 and 97, it speaks about in the Sirach, the 14th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. It speaks about blessed is the man that reasoneth of holy things by his understanding. Let me get that. Um, Sirach 14 and 20, I think. Yep. Blessed is the man that doeth meditate good things in wisdom and that reasoneth of holy things by his understanding. And that's what this thing of ours is about. It's about getting his word within us. This is the renewal of our mind. So our thought process is in line with what? With the scriptures. Because uh, uh, it's a precept in Proverbs where it says the thought of foolishness is sin. <laughs> right? So even with that precept alone, man, we should be what? Meditating on the mercy of the Lord. And, 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 and that right there is, is, is acceptable in the sight of the Lord. Just meditating and appreciating the mercy he's bestowed upon us. You know? But let's go back. 
And this is the renewal of our heart. This is how we're born again. We reason and we think according to these precepts, right? Psalms 119 and 99. I'll, I'll read uh, 97 again. Matter of fact, I'll read it through. Psalms 119 and 97. Oh, how I love thy law. Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. <laughs> right? These things are retained in our spirit. That's why it says, uh, hold them fast and let her not go. Roughly paraphrasing. Verse 99. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word, man. This is um, Sirach 39 and 1. It says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. You see, it says occupied in the meditation thereof. Did not our Lord tell us occupy till he come? Going back to that Timothy, right? Now, Paul was writing that unto Timothy, but we can apply that to our Lord Yahweh Shah. Till he come, we have to give attendance to reading, exhortation, and doctrine. This is what we're occupied in. This is where our mentality, this is where our mind is at. This is what our eye, our mind's eye is set upon. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Right? So from there, let's get meditate. It's Genesis 24 and 63. And Isaac, and Isaac, but what, being one of our forefathers, and we know through the Holy Spirit, Isaac is the reincarnation uh, of our Lord Yahweh Shah. So we should embody this mentality. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide and he lifted up his eyes and saw and behold, the camels were coming. Right. So this is an example of our forefather, Isaac, being our Lord, Yahweh Shah, meditating, man. So we should show forth that same that that, 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 that same characteristic within ourselves. See, because meditation is a part of our heritage, you know, Joshua one and eight, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Then uh, that's how our works will be acceptable unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah when it's done through wisdom. You can read that in Wisdom of Solomon, the ninth chapter. Continue to read on down, right? This is um, Psalms 1. And one, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night, man. And in doing that, what, what, what would happen? And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. <laughs> you see? It's the results of meditating, having our eyes single and set upon Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Once again, us chewing over, chewing the cut. See? Let's continue to uh, uh, read down. Psalm 63 and 6. When I were, matter of fact, I'll start at one on this. This is a heat, this heat right here. This is a Psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, thou art my power. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee, my flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, man. And this is our mentality here in America, man. Look at all the wickedness, right? <laughs> Look at all the perverseness that's going on within this place. According to Ezekiel, the 37 chapter, what? This is the this is the valley full of dry bones, man. And a lot of our people are still dry as hell. But the water you how about Shem Yahweh Shah that he were that, that that he's been watering, you know. The believers, man. And may he keep the, the spirit of belief upon us, right? Verse 2. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with morrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. 
when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches because thou has been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me, man. <laughs> and this has to be our mentality. Following hard after the Lord is what? Continually meditating upon these things. Meditate upon the kingdom. Meditate upon his mercy. Meditate upon the acts and the deeds of our forefathers and how they reasoned and moved in the, uh, through the Holy Spirit in, 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 in the times of affliction. You know? There's so many things to meditate according to the Holy Scriptures, man. And this is what allows us to stay occupied and not worry about the shit that's going on in this present evil world, man. From there, let's get uh, Psalm 77 and 12. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. And, and, and where is the Lord's work? How do we, how do we, how do we meditate or speak about the Lord's work? This is, um, I think it's 41. Sirach 41. It might have been 40. Because yeah, I know where it's at in my uh, in my book. Let me just search it up. Forty-two. This is Sirach forty-two and fifteen. I will now remember the works of the Lord and declare the things that I have seen in the words of the Lord are His works, right? So these words that we're speaking, these are the works of the Lord. So let's go back to Psalm 77 and 12. I will meditate also of all thy work, meaning I will meditate in thy word and talk of thy doings. Psalms 119 and 15. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. Psalms 119 and 23. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statues. Uh, verse 48. My hands also will I lift up up unto thy commandments which i have loved and i will meditate in thy statues uh verse 78 let the proud be ashamed for they dealt perversely with me without the call without a cause but i will meditate in thy precepts 148 uh, verse 148 my eyes prevent the night watches it says what my eyes meet that word prevent means to meet you see so he stayed up meditating on the lord late at night my eyes prevent the night watches that I might meditate, meditate, that I might meditate in thy words. Matter of fact, I'll start up. Um, 144. It says the righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. I cry with my whole heart. Hear me, O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. I will keep thy statues. I cried unto thee, save me and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word. And it says prevented the dawning of the morning, meaning he met the morning. So there's times what that, that, that we be up till, till, till daylight, man, meditating or studying. Or the night watches, meaning it's late at night, midnight, one, two, three in the morning, studying, musing, meditating, chewing over this knowledge, this word, man. You see? Because this is what we're wholly given unto this. And these are examples of our forefathers. See, these ain't just words. This is what <laughs> these is what the psalmist, right? This is what our righteous forefathers actually did, man. 147 again. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word. My eyes prevent the night watches that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness. O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Right? But let's continue. Um, Psalms 143 and 5. It says, I meditate. I'll, I'm sorry. I remember the days of old. Romans 15 and 4. The things that are written a full time are written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So that's how we remember the days of old. 
I meditate on all thy works. Where is the works of the Lord? It's written within his word. I muse on the work of thy hands, man. <laughs> you see that? I muse on the work of thy hands. You see? You know? So that's it, man. Lord's will. I hope this was edifying. You know, we, we have to. Hey, once again, this is a part of our heritage. You know? Meditating on the promises. Meditating on, 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 on the mercy. Once again. You know? But that's all I got through the Holy Spirit, man. Lord will, I hope this was edifying. Dwar Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baracha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Peace, blessings, salutations to you brothers, your households, and you few sisters who are listening and learning in silence as well. Shalom.